What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dominus J. I recorded this without any commentary. Holy cow. That is crazy. So I have to delete that video and make a new one right now. So anyway, uh, here's what you want to do if you want to make Mr. Big Shot build, you know, from Detroit Pistons, Chauncey Billups. Um, what you want to do is make a point guard, right hand, jersey number one, solid. Now you want to make the height 6'3", weight 202 pounds, wingspan 6'6", six six, defined, body shape. Now you want to continue. Here you're going to get a close shot of an 86, which is solid. You won't have any issues finishing around the rim majority of the time, as long as somebody don't really have that shield, one of them shields, um, uh, anchors, um, takeovers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, your driving layup will be at 88, solid. You're going to be finishing around the rim with ease as long as you don't take stupid shots. Your driving dunk is basically non-existent, so it's just standing dunk. And your post control is, nah, not even worth speaking really too much about. But, you know, that's it comes with the territory. So you're going to take some and you're going to lose some with this build. And But in my opinion, I feel like this is very well-rounded. reason why I say that is because right here, you get to finish with your 86 close shot, your 88 driving layup, and now you're going to get to shoot the basketball efficiently with the 84 mid-range and the 84 three-pointer and for you rec players you're gonna have a 83 free throw so that's decent with a 90 pass accuracy you're gonna be uh basically lasered with <laughs> you're gonna be lasered like lamella ball with your pass accuracy zipping it from here to there really quick which is very good which is very good and underrated a lot of times because the quicker you can get the ball to uh uh, your teammate the quicker they can score you know and your opponent won't really have time to react your ball handler is going to be 84 which is solid you can get you up and down moving left to right around the corner or, I said the corner around the court <laughs> your speed with ball is going to be at 85 like I said very decent for you to run up and down the court interior defense is average 54 your perimeter defense is a 90 but um which is good, but in my opinion, I feel like um, with a 90 perimeter defense, you at least should have a gold clamps, at least, at least gold clamps. The plus is that you do get gold challenger, but at least gold clamps. Steel is going to be a 68, which is average. If you have really good IQ, you can get one or two steals a game. You know what I'm saying? Whether the person is dribbling on the side you're defending or, you know, you time when they are about to um, pass the ball to your opponent. Block is basically non-existent, so is offensive rebound, and your defensive rebound is mm, average with a 50. Your acceleration and your speed, your speed and acceleration. These two right here is going to be at 88, and they're looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. You know, you, you're not going to be no slouch up and down the court. You're going to be fast. You're going to be shooting well, and you're going to be driving well, and defending well with this build, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, this build is very well balanced for what you need it to do. Your strength is going to be at 80. You're going to absorb that context so that with that high finishing layup and close shot, you're going to have easy and one opportunities, you know? And even if somebody does hit you and the referee forget to blew his whistle, or he accidentally swallowed his whistle... <laughs> You're going to easily finish around the rim, more often than not, with a strength of an 80. Your vertical is going to be a 72, which is decent, and your stamina is going to be a 93, which is very, very good, so you won't get tired. Now, for your primary takeover, I'm very, very biased. I prefer me as a person, as a, as a, as a individual who's playing 2K, I prefer defense. So it's up to y'all, however you guys want to do it, but me personally, I go for defense first because for me there's nothing much better than to stop your opponent and then score on the other end or have your teammate score it doesn't have to just be me scoring it could also be my teammate scoring and there's nothing much more better than for that situation to happen now for your secondary takeover i went with team rating boost because you know if you're playing well and you're able to get your um if you're able to get your um t your takeovers with whether it's double take or single take 
which in my case, you get double take to activate these teams' ratings. Everybody on the court has no excuse to not be playing well. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Now you want to hit continue. It's going to say Shades of Trey Young, Gadarius Garland, and CJ McCollum, which is, you know, pretty similar. And this is what you've been waiting for, Mr. Big Shot. Alright guys, I'll see y'all next time. Stay easy, be easy, and I'm out.